Hello everybody, this is Lou with STS Maintenance. Uh, in today's video, we want to do a walk around. And obviously, when all the planes are coming through the gate, overnight airplanes, we want to do a thorough walk around. And the walk around shouldn't take more than 10 to 15 minutes. And in about that time frame, we should be able to assess the airplane and know what we have. So today, I'm going to start a walk around. And this is the type of stuff you should be doing when you perform a walk around. To, again, to make sure that the airplane is going to be good, and if you find any problems, find them as fast as we can so we can remedy it. So where we sh we're going to start the walk around at the nose of the airplane, and we will finish at the nose of the airplane. So my partner is going to be videotaping me, and we're going to start. So here we go. We're in front of the airplane. We're in front of the radome. So obviously, <clears throat> we're looking for any nicks, dents. We're looking for the contour of the, of the radome. And these are called uh, diverters. We want to make sure everything's intact. So the burgers are not peeled back. And obviously, then we don't have any kind of bird strike. You're obviously going to see some bugs and whatnot. If you see bugs, you can clean them off. So as we do the walk around, we're ensuring that our latches are secure, making sure that this is not secure. You're going to back off this a little bit, and you're going to take a look at the parking and the camera area along with the windshield. Most of the windscreens will be dirty. So let's be courteous and let's clean those windshields off so we avoid them calling us in the morning. So I'm going to continue. Okay. Obviously, every last we want to make sure it's secure. The RBSM critical area has got to be clean. No dents, no scratches. This is your keto static tube number two, what we call PS2. And we want to make sure that these tubes do not have any type of contamination, bugs, dirt. So. Right now this one looks pretty clean and the RBSM area is pretty clean. So I'm going to continue. As we do our walk around, we want to open up our oxygen panel. And the oxygen is all based on temperatures, but generally anywhere between 1,700 and 1,800 pounds, we're going to call it good. And obviously you're going to reference your chart. So take a look in here. This one's reading about 1,800 pounds. If you're, that's about 1,800, so that's very good. And this is the, also the servicing point if we needed to service oxygen. So I'm going to go on and close this. And again, we want to make sure all our latches are secure. The ground crews normally will hook up external power. Presently, I have the APU power on. But again, we want to secure these. Make sure they're secure. Okay? In this area, we, we have our APU shut off emergency. The APU is running right now. If an event, we had an emergency, this is where we would shut it off from the outside, okay? So you're gonna make sure that these latches are secure and make sure everything that's in here, your jacks, your buttons, your lights, that they're all working. Down here is where they hook up the external ground power. And this is very important, guys, because a lot of the ramp guys forget. So we wanna make sure that the pins are clean, they look clean, okay? And we do normally don't have a whole lot of problems with these, but the big deal is make sure that the latch is secure because if in the event you do they don't latch them it probably will rip off in flight and, and can be cause for damage so let's continue you want to shake it you want to shake the door make sure it's secure if you have a little bit of wiggle but you obviously you don't want it falling apart on you as we come inside let's go up in the wheel well okay, up in the wheel well you want to make sure everything is dry i'm going to point out your proc sensor, I got the light on one of the proc store sensors up in the corner. My partner's going to turn around. That is one of your proximity sensors for the door closing. Okay, that's a sensor and this is the target. Okay, so you want to make sure these are clean. Okay, and if you look in here again, shake the doors, make sure that nothing's coming apart. As we turn around, and again, we are doing a quick walk around. As we turn around, this is a good point where we can inspect our tires. On the nose tires, you're chimed. All, all aft mounted engine will have nose tabs at a chime. And we want to make sure that we have perfect grooves, we don't have any cord, and obviously there's no wiggle action. We In, in our shop, we have a, a moist towel that we can clean off the strut. So this is the time we clean off the strut and make sure it's clean. This, these, <clears throat> these worm clamps often get loose, make sure they're secure, okay? And again, this is a good time to look at the tires. No cord, thickness, fine. While we're here, these, these are your steering actuators. You're looking at your steering actuators and we want everything as dry as it could be. 
We don't want any hydraulic leaks. So you're looking at your connections, you're looking at all your connections, okay? This one has a little bit of excessive grease, but that, we can wipe that off later on. Continue. Over here, on your nose torques, you can swing around. You have your sensors here for your nose landing gear. On this side, you got one on the other side. Make sure they're clean. You got your torque link for your scissor link. Make sure that's secure. We normally don't take them apart. Other stations do take them apart depending on what kind of tow equipment they have. And once again, you're looking at the linkage. You're looking at for any kind of hydraulic leaks, any kind of liquid. Up here, you're checking your light, making sure that it's not cracked. While we're inside and on overnight, we'll be doing an operational check on the lights. But right now, what my concern is, is it cracked, it's not cracked, and it's secure. That's what we need to look at. Let's continue. We're looking at, we're looking at the rest of the airplane and making sure we have no bird strike and everything looks secure. We're looking at the windows, and once again, guys, the windows do get dirty. Let's try to avoid a delay, and let's clean those windows. The angle of attack sensor, it's okay. Total wear temperature sensors, again, we don't want any foreign damage, no bird strikes. These are looking good. The S3 sensors, we want those clean, and we want no damage around this area. It's your S3 for your standby pedo. Okay, as you walk around, we're also looking at the antennas. These antennas, it's your ATC antennas. It's your water drain. Uh, these down here are your DME antennas. And you're making sure that they're secure because the ramp guys or anybody can hit them and break them. So make sure they're secure. Let's continue. Again, all your panels, all your latches, you want to make sure that they're secure. This is your water fill, and that's got to be in that position, locked. Okay, locked to flight when it's, when it's a 90 degree position. But the big deal here is that we can secure the panel. That's secure. Same thing with your toilet servicing. Of course, we don't like messing with this but it's important, okay, that these latches are working fine. Your VHF antenna, this one is more prone to getting damaged, but make sure it's secure. You can go on, give it a shake, you inspect the crack, <clears throat> your mylar, everything's looking good. Let's continue. Your antenna, your beacon. We'll check the beacons when we're up in the cockpit, but down here is making sure that it's not cracked. Here goes your ADF antenna. This is what they call the ADF antenna. This is that, that your, your anti-collision light, lower beacon. Make sure it's not cracked, no bird strikes. And we don't usually have problems with the ADF antenna. Let's continue. This down, this antenna here is for SATCOM. And make sure, again, we want to make sure it's secure. Okay, all your ceilings, all, your, all these panels, we want to make sure. I'm going to point that when we're looking at these panels, all these screws. We want to make sure that they're secure. We don't want any of these screws missing because it, uh, if one is missing, we will have to make sure that it's allowed to go that way, but most of them are not. You have to have almost 100% of those screws. So we look at those screws, they're all in. Same thing with the body fairing. Same thing, free fuel, deep fuel panel. Again, all latches. Make sure that they're secure and we can close them. This is your fueling panel. We don't mess with that a lot. The field will take care of that. But this is just a walk around to make sure that everything's okay. We have no bird strength. Same thing down here. This is the refuel point. Make sure that these latches are good and that this fuel cap has a lanyard. If it doesn't have a lanyard, more than likely you'll be getting a call. We want to avoid delays. Okay, we're going to have to bend down here with you. Okay. That's a body tail stripe. And again, we're just taking a good look down here, making sure nothing's wet. We want everything dry, no hydraulics, no fluid, no, no lab, no, no kind of fluid. We want everything dry constantly. Come back and use the gear. This, this is the shimmy dampener. Everybody take a look over here. Okay, there's a line. Okay, kind of hard to read. It says full 
I don't know if you can read it, but it's upside down, but it says full. I'm pointing to it. So we want to make sure it's if the body of this of, of this dampener is in the full range. If it's below the range, you will have to get the hydraulic part and service it of this hydraulic point down here. I'll point to it. That's the servicing point for the shimmy dampener. And it won't take more than a quarter of a turn to pump it to full. So we're going to look at this because it will call you out if the shimmy dampener is on the full. Let's continue. I'm going to shine my light if I can. And we're looking at the brakes. Okay, you want all the brakes to be clean. As far as hydraulics, you don't want any hydraulics. And we're going to take a look at the brake pin wear. I'll show you the pin wear here in a second. The wear, wear indicators are back here. I'm trying to point them with my laser. That is the brake wear indicator. Brake wear indicator. If you don't want these going down to more than an eight. First thing on this side. All right, and we're taking a look at our tires really quick. All right, again, we don't want any thread. We don't want any track. We don't want any bubbles. You're looking at the sidewall. You're looking at the sidewall and you're looking at your tie bolts. So you focus over here. You want to make sure all your tie bolts are in. Any one of these tie bolts, if they're broken, you have to replace the tire. And obviously you'll be checking tire pressures. You can look that up on your, on your maintenance manual. But right now we're just inspecting the airplane very quickly. All the tie bolts are good. Everything's secure. I don't have any bubbles. I have plenty of tread on it. This is a good tire. Continue. Up here. Up here, you want to make sure there's nothing leaking. Everything is dry. Everything dry. Dry as possible. Continue. Again, we don't want anything loose. Shake the door. That door should not move. This door is always prone to bird strike. So make sure it's okay and that nothing hit it. Let's go back out here. Continue our walk around. Okay, get to this area. You want to expect our landing lights. And from here you can see if the lens are cracked. If they're not cracked, then all we need to do is an operational check. And again, secure, everything's secure. All the screws are in. And the, the lens is not cracked. Let's continue. We're gonna walk, we're gonna walk along the leading edge and just inspect for any burst strike, any cracks, anything that's missing. In here, you want to take a good look and make sure they don't have any birds. So you'll take a look. No birds, and this is normal. This this opening is normal. The big one, that's the primary. If you ever do the walk around and you see the second the little light on, that means that the primary burnt out. So you'll have to replace it. And that is normal. This is the primary nav, that's the secondary nav, and out here is your strobe. That's your strobe light. So make sure everything is in contour. No screws missing, no lens is cracked. Let's continue. Again, take a look at the leading edges, no bird strike. This is a good place where you're going to start counting your static wicks. Make sure none of the static wicks are missing. So let's go on and take a look at it. Upper static wicks. All the static wicks are in. This is your aileron. You want to shake it make sure you don't have any movement on your aileron. Flat bearing is secure. Flat bearing is secure. And this is a good time that you're looking at all your panels out here. All these are fuel panels for your fuel tank. And obviously we want it dry, as dry as possible. Flat bearing. We'll come back to the back of the end of the tire, back into the gear. This is a better place to look at the, for the brake pin wear. We'll look at them again. That's your number four brake, and it's got plenty of pin on it. This is your number three brake. It's still pretty good. And again, we want to make sure it's secure. 
when we're looking at the brakes, you want to make sure you've got no dust, that nothing's coming apart. And again, we'll clean the strut with the proper cleaning uh, moist towel that they have provided for us. Everything dry. We want dry, no hydraulics, no leaks. This one's a good one. Let's continue. This is your number three hydraulic servicing port. And again, we want to make sure the panels are secure. All right, this is where we fill it. Okay, that's your reservoir, your, your, your quantity, and your pressure. Again, when we're doing a walk around, all we're doing is making sure there's no, no damage. We're making sure all the screws, everything is put together. Way down there, that's your fuel drain mask. You don't want any fuel dripping out of that. There are limits. If you got one or two, it probably would be okay. But if you got more than that, you got an issue. Down here, let's take a look at the engine. Make sure that the latches are secure. I'm not going to open them. I already went through that. And your fuel drains, make sure they're not cracked. Make sure that they're secure. Down here, up in the pylon, you want to make sure up in the pylon that none of those seals are sticking out. Because we've had them before where the seals pop out. And they are seeing the elbows. Again, if you're going to walk like this, avoid the delay. So the seals are good on this airplane.
weekend a good time to take a look at the pylon area and make sure no seals and none of these panels are damaged. And once again, you'll take a look at this side of the engine, number one engine, and we're looking to ensure that those latches are secure. No damage. We're looking good. Let's keep trucking. You know, inlet is always subjected to, to uh, getting hit by birds. So we're going to take a good look on both engines. This is the number one engine now. And we'll take a good look at the lip, the circumference of the engine cowl, and make sure there's no damage. And on this engine, you can see the blade just a little bit better. And they're actually windmilling. And if you take your time with your light, you should be able to see that they're OK. No bird damage, no crack. And again, it's imperative. If you have any hesitation, get a stand. Get a truck, go up and take a look and ensure that there is no blade damage. Once again, we're looking at the body fairing right behind us. We're making sure all the panels are secure and no screws are missing and on the ground that we don't want any kind of fluid. Let's continue. Really neck once again, and this is a good place to inspect the tires and inspect the brakes again. Number one brake pin looks good. Tire wear looks good. Number two brake pin looks good. Tire wear looks good. And again, we want to make sure when we take a look, the tie bolts, all your tie bolts are there. And it's your safety. And of course, you'll go later on and get it. You'll find out what the air pressures are and you'll service them. This is the general walk around. What we first do when the airplane gets to the gate. Again, everything's secure. Hydraulic lines. No leaks, okay? Keep it continue. We're looking at the sidewall again. All your sidewall, no bubbles. All your tie bolts are in and your safety. You're looking good. Take a look up front. And again, a good place to check your, this one's a little better to read. Shimmy dampener. It's got to be in the full. This canister has to be in the full. If if it goes past, it says refill, that's, this is a better look at it, then you'll have to break the safety down here on this cap, I'm pointing to the cap, and simply hook up the hydraulic cart, and you pump it about a quarter, and then it will be fully serviced, and they do go low, and, it, and you will get a call out if you don't inspect it properly. Again, the brakes, all your hydraulic lines, your proc sensors, proc sensors, proc sensors, okay? We want to make sure that they're clean and that the door, you shake the door, make sure it's secure. Up in the wheel well. Up in this bin, this bin will come out if you have to access some of the hydraulic components. And basically when you come in here, it's pretty roomy. All you're making sure is that all everything's secure. All right, if it's a little dark, you'll have, have to get better light than I have. And this bin does come out, and we have taken it out, but right now, it is a good bin, no hydraulics. I'm back out in the trailing edge, and I'm going to continue looking at my fairings, looking at my trailing edge, shaking my fairings, shaking the spoiler, making sure all the, all the static wicks are there. Trailing edge of the winglet, no damage. I see my primary nav is on. You might get a little bit of this kind of bubbling for the uh, wing tips. You could disregard that so long as you don't have any cracks and then all your screws are secure. Clean neck, no bugs, no bird cracks. All the panels, you want to make sure, again, I've, em I've emphasized it, no leaks and everything's secure. Just like on the other side, you want to make sure you have no birds in there, any kind of foreign damage that could have gotten stuck up in there during takeoff or, or during flight or even landing. So this one's pretty clean. And again, on your landing lights, you might have, this is a good place to check and see they're not cracked, these are not cracked, and that your lens are secured and that the lens itself is not cracked. Take a 
good luck, bottom of the leading edge. All the panels are secure and we'll continue. Cargo bins, just make sure that they're closed. And we'll know if we have a problem because the ramp guys will tell you. Few slides clean, no bird strike. This is a good time to back up. Top of the fuselage, make sure that your VHF antennas, the shark fins antennas, that they're intact. Their ATC antennas, your, your GPS antennas, your upper, your upper antenna can like you can see a little bit. And again, when you turn on your lights, you'll see if they work on the inside. And what we're doing is a general walk around on the outside to ensure that we don't make antennas, clean skin, and then you get to the door. On the doors, you want to make sure your cables are not broken, that your pulleys are not coming apart, that everything is secure. If you have a problem with this, we will have an issue because these doors are RII. Okay, so we want to inspect to make sure that all the rigging, all the cables are intact and hopefully not frayed because if you have them frayed, we're going to have an issue. If you find one that's frayed, let's address it right away to avoid and minimize any delay. Your handles, strong. Okay, we're not going back up yet because we're almost finished here. And again, we're back over on your S3, your standby. That's S3 standby, we want to clean. No damage, the hole's clear. Okay, this is your oxygen crew disc. In the event you don't see green, we got an issue. That means you have some kind of over temp or something over pressurization and this disc will blow. So more than likely you'll be working on an oxygen bottle. But that's what we're looking for on these walk arounds. So right now this one's a good one. Green is good. And we're almost finished angle of attack. Again, that's your standby pedo up there. The captain's pedo too in the RBSM area. And you got your ice detectors down here. We want everything secure, nice and clean, no damage. And we can back up just a hair, and we'll take a look at the windows. And again, more than likely, you'll have to clean the windows to avoid a delay. Take the initiative, guys, and avoid a delay. Just clean them off. And again, making sure your latches are secure, making sure there's no damage. Shake those doors and check this latch, your diverters. If they're not damaged or delaminated or coming apart, and guess what? We just performed a pretty thorough walk around. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll do step two from the, from the cockpit in the next video. Thanks for watching.